Hello, I'm Norbert Gleich, I'm the Medical Director at the Center for Human Reproduction here in New York City. If you're thinking about becoming an egg donor, or if you already are an egg donor, uh, you may have uh, questions about what kind of medicines uh, you have to take. It can be a whole variety, depending on who you are, if you have any medical issues. But the principal medications that I want to address today are the ones that are used to stimulate your ovaries. In a natural cycle, you're producing only one egg. If you want to be an egg donor, you will be stimulated with these drugs to produce a good number of eggs. Hopefully not too many, because that can lead to hyperstimulation. But those drugs are hormones. They are natural hormones. They're the same hormones our bodies or your bodies as a woman are producing, except in different dosages. And the higher the dosage, obviously, the more your ovaries will get stimulated. They are injectable medications in most cases. There are also some orals, but they are rarely used or sometimes in combination with the injectable. So you will have to learn how to self-inject, and that's easy. It's really foolproof, and every IVF clinic will be happy to teach you. In general, these medications are well tested out. Their long-term effects are known, and there are practically none because they are natural hormones, and so you really don't have to worry. What you have to worry about is what I mentioned before, that Sometimes you can get overstimulated, and when that happens, it can get a little painful. It can actually even get a little dangerous. So make sure you don't get overstimulated, you don't get too high dosages, but otherwise, really nothing to worry about. Thanks for listening.